Well, I mean, keep in mind, like, I, it was just a different world back then. Like, the people who were making D&D were all geeks. You know, they were all gamers. Everyone who worked there was a gamer. Everyone who played was a gamer. So it was gamers making gamer material, right? Think about it. And you basically have, because everyone's, like, so surprised about Baldur's Gate 3. Like, you know, that like it just won Game of the Year, which, like, people can't believe. It's like, think about it. It's like an isometric TTRPG, you know, C, sorry, CRPG, one game. How? You know, I mean, this is, like, such a niche part of the world and yet this thing is a monster it's one of the best reviewed games in history and it's like yeah because the ceo wears plate mail okay have you seen the people who work at this company they are geeks hardcore so when they made this they made a game that they love that they wanted to play and it's no surprise that this is a fantastic game because they did it because they wanted to make a game that was great and that they loved and they weren't looking at marketing. They weren't looking at demographics. They weren't looking at any of that stuff. In fact, they even said that they expected at most a hundred thousand people were going to be playing concurrently when it first came out. And it went up to 850,000, which is a lot. And we were talking before the, before we started, we we're talking about world of Warcraft and, and blizzard. They were the same thing. Like early blizzard was all, Geeks playing, you know, they yeah. were hardcore gamers making games that they loved. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I was going to say, I was going to say something perhaps a little bit spicy, which is that uh, Baldur's Gate 3, in, in fairness, is the type of product that you can't really get from a public company like Hasbro Watsi, right? right? Like, it's it's a type of, it, it took like six years for them to make this game. It was a massive gamble. And it is the sort of thing that only somebody who is really passionate about the genre, about the game, would actually make because they want to see it created, right? It's, mm -hmm. it, it, it's a creative endeavor. They want to see this product exist. And that's why. But so much content these days and it's affecting all media i think is just produced because it's going to be profitable that's it that's that's the that's the goal that's the purpose that's why it's made and it's being directed by people who have no real stick in it beyond just the financial they don't actually put their heart and souls now that's not to say there's not creative people who are making products out there you know like the D, &D team i think are actually extremely creative um but uh, uh, for the company hasbro in terms of like chris cox and cynthia williams i'm not sure how much they actually care about the quality of product that they're putting out so much as it just makes them money right and it's kind of funny seeing them kind of enjoy the the, the success of Baldur's gate 3 when really they had nothing to do with it like whatsoever oh yeah, that it was sent that was Cynthia sick. Williams even employed by no, Watsi when no. they got the license? No, it was like, six years ago. She six literally years has ago. no skin in the game whatsoever. Nope. I, it, is, yeah. it makes me so... I am a gargantuan fan of Larian Studios. And they literally make, made Divine Divinity um, so that they can get Dungeons & Dragons. Like, they, they literally <laughs> made those two games so that they can show that they can make a game and they had an engine ready to go so that they can get Baldur's Gate. And there's like nice. there's a lot of stories on this. And those games are fantastic. Like you play Divine Divinity Original Sin, Sin 1 and 2. I love those games. And I saw that and how insane they were in those games. And I kept saying, I'm like, these guys are nuts. <laughs> like they are truly insane. The, what they put into those games. I... I was expecting Baldur's Gate 3 to do really well and be amazing. Not even even this was way beyond what I expected, but I yeah. am not that surprised considering their other games are this good too. Um, but you are right. It's that it's a weird thing. It's like if you get too big, then you can't have the personal touch and then you lose what you became. 